Hey, wizards, guess what? It's Kieran Trocall, and I'm back for another episode of the Myth Walkthrough. And it's exciting, guys, because we are officially kicking off part two of Chrysalis. So let's talk to Merle Ambrose because he's got, well, we got to talk to him and see what's going on. Be at ease, good mantis, young wizard. It is time to throw down Morganth and her dark work. You have restored the Eclipse Tower, and in so doing, you have delved into shadow. I see now that it was inevitable. While I would not and could not teach shadow magic at Ravenwood, I have faith you will not forget our principles. Yeah, I'm good. Use these principles to steer yourself between light and shadow. You will need all your wits to take on Morganth. Your next step is to find the Alcazar of Radiant Judgment, a shrine to star magic. Reclaim it in order to deny Morganth its powers. Morganth and her warlords know you are about. So, you must expect each league to be hard fought. Be brave, and we will be with you. Awesome, guys. So, let's talk to Nyaga, see what he has to say. Jambo, young wizard. The restoration of Bastion is a wonderful sight. I'm sure Morganth still burns in anger. Of course, that may not be so good for you, but you will face her challenges with grace and skill, as we know. Still, I can give you some small help. Take this and use it wisely. What do you give me? Oh, okay. Well, hey, let's go. Talk to Zoltana. By the spiral spellbinder, you have some powerful spirits in your corner. Travel to Fort Rockius. I've sent Zarozinia the Death Song ahead to wait for you. She will guide you down to Crescent Beach. From there, you'll have to find a way to sail Starfall Sea. The ruins of the Alcazar of Radiant Judgment lie somewhere in the waves. The dying Starstone you recovered from Ghost Dog will guide you to the Alcazar. But I do not know how you will survive the storms. Find Zarozinia and look for a way to cross the Starfall Sea. This is exciting stuff. And obviously we've got side quests back up now. Spellbind. I'm just going to go ahead and buzz through the side quest. Now, a couple things, guys. I did make it to level 102, and I've went ahead and added a new wand, which gives me some more, um, more, uh, let's hear, yeah. Some more, um, uh, cut into myth, as well as, um, oh, yeah, check this out. I got a new deck that gives me a pet, an extra pip at the beginning of each match. So that's going to help out a lot, especially when we're just um, just doing our usual usual, which is just grinding of mobs, and it should help us in the large boss fights as well. So pretty excited about those. So let's go ahead and go talk to Zarazinia. She is going to get us going. Okay. I bet you she's just right around the corner here. There she is. And there's Crescent Beach behind her. Spellbinder, I've been waiting for you. Be on guard. Despite your victory over Ghost Dog, there are still many enemies about. Okay. The way to Crescent Beach was barricaded by the guards of Fort Rockius. Dragon beetles produce searing hot pods as part of their life cycle. We can use them to burn down the barricade. Help me collect some dragon beetle pods from this cavern. Be careful. Dragon beetles bite. Okay, guys, so we start off on quest 141, and our goal is to try to get to quest 150. We'll see. We've got a lot of fights between here and there. So first, we need to take on the Dragon Beetles, because we're not quite to Crescent Beach yet, but this is going to help us get us there, right? Absolutely. Well, fantastic. Thanks, everybody, for showing up again. Thank you for all your support in the last few videos. It's been absolutely awesome, and I want to keep this going. I've got some new stuff on the way, guys. Right now it's in the planning phases, but I'm pretty excited. We've got some new content coming, so I cannot wait to start sharing it with you guys. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and knock out some of these guys. Now, by the way, if you guys haven't supported the channel, and there's some great, easy ways... Oh, great. Bunch of junk in my deck. Um, there's some great, easy ways to support the channel, and the easiest way is hit that subscribe button, guys. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. It makes a big difference, guys, and it really helps us out quite a bit. Another great way is if you're enjoying the video at all, hit that like button. Hit that like button because it really helps um, YouTube 
you know, help um, support this and get this into other, um, get it out so other people will see it. And that's awesome. Yeah, see, look, we, we could already, um, just one round, and we could have done our big guy. Yep. And if I wasn't trying to grab some, um, what do you call that? Oh, yeah. If I wasn't trying to grab some animus, I probably would have just gone ahead and, and, um, done the big hit right away. But hey, you know what? We have... Uh, Okay, yeah, it's not a big deal. <laughs> it's annoying, but it's not a big deal. Very good. Well, let's go ahead and strike while the striking's hot. There we go. Very, very good. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. Now, up until we started the new section, all side quests have been 100% done, so if you're, if you've done all your side quests, I mean everything, you know, um, then, ooh, it worked. Then, starting the second half, okay, ooh, Transcendent Monstrologist, great, how much, how much do we get out of that, hey, check it out, fantastic. I'm sorry, new monstrology level, that means we got a new badge. So let's go ahead and continue on our goal to being the master monstrologist, right? So let's go to our badges, let's go to monstrology badges. There's only nine more left. Wow. What do you guys think? Do you think we'll be able to get all the monstrology badges? Maybe. Maybe we will. Okay. So let's keep this, keep this going as we continue on. Okay, is there a Zinnia? Should be right down here. Let's let her know we've gotten the pods, I guess, and see what she has to say. Yes, these will do. Wedge the pods into the barricade. The pods will burn the barricade down. Hurry through to the edge of Crescent Beach. And here we go, guys. We are finally getting to Crescent Beach. The beetle pods burn bright. The barricade burns down, leaving little more than a pungent smell. And here we are, guys, in Crescent Beach, Zosinia. The Shadow Queen's grip is still strong here. Crescent Beach remains in the Shadow Queen's control. Her forces train here and keep supplies flowing from across the sea. Crossing the storm tossed waters is challenging at best. Many have been lost to the maelstrom, or vicious predators. For now, we must focus on reaching the surf. Strike down some sand crawlers to get the password into the Umbra Guard station. Because we like crushing some sand crawlers. Let's go ahead and do that. Sand crawlers, let's go. Very, very good. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and take these guys out. Now, I was thinking, there is another way you can support the channel if you haven't thought of it before, guys. Yep, the, uh, another way that you can support the channel, boy, I really gotta get my decks set up, is you can also, get this, join my Patreon. Yeah, that's a great way you can help support the channel. Now, that's only $3 a month, and that gets you access to our Minecraft Let's Play World. Um, it's a vanilla um, SMP server, and if you guys want to enjoy it and play along with us as we continue to build and everything, we would love to have you there. So. Just so you know, that is a benefit of joining our Patreon server, and I would love to see you guys on the server and be able to play with you guys. That would be fun. So that's a benefit if you join our Patreon. Okay, let's go ahead and get these guys out. Let's knock these guys down. Oh, what was that? Okay, I need to, I need to get my deck square it away because this is kind of getting annoying. Yeah, ha yeah I got I got to kick all these wand hits out and some of the other stuff. Yeah, I, when I switched my decks, I just copied everything over and apparently didn't shut everything out. So let me go ahead and do that. Are you kidding me? Is that a raw? Always the one you don't want, right? With that negative 40 weakness. Oof, that doesn't feel good. If he robs me too, it's going to be like, really? Okay, not a problem. Okay, let's finish these guys. Ah, oh, oh, finally. There we go. Mr. Colossus works for me. It's a beautiful thing when the Colossus comes to town.
but this is enough. Yes, that's enough for me. Oh, the password is okay. Now we are going to stop and go ahead and fix our deck real quick. Okay, so we only really need one of those. Um, definitely don't need those. Don't need that. Don't need that. Um, those four are usually what I want. And yep, yeah, I mean it's probably still too much in my deck, but I I, I I'm a sucker for the keeping extra things is there. Ugh. Ugh, sand crawlers have no imagination. I know. Use the password to get us into the Umbra Guard Station. Once inside, we will have to fight. Okay. Their commander should have a signet ring. We need that to get through the Umbra barriers and down to the seashore. Excellent. She's joining us for the fight, so let's let's go ahead and do this thing. Logan, only password. Oh, you. You should. Okay. You come in. Excellent. Let us write in. Very, very nice. Now, guys, I do stream four times a week. Yeah, on Twitch.tv. You should come check us out. We do some Wizard 101, some Minecraft, some Pirate 101. I would love to have you guys along for the ride. And that's something that happens um, weekly. And, you know, just come on, check everything out. We'd love to have you there. All right. I want to go ahead and put in a couple of these before I forget. Who let you in? I don't know how you cleverly learned our password, but it won't do you any good. Okay, Damden Bazaar. That's nice. Damden Bazaar. Interesting name. Okay. Not a problem. Let's go ahead and prep him for like a major headache. Ooh. Now, one of the things I really got to do is I got to go ahead and get my... I got to go ahead and figure out my new stitch. Yeah. If you'll notice, I'm still wearing... Still wearing my Darkmoor in the Darkmoor... In the Darkmoor um, colors. And my new wand is just the way it came. So I, I, I really want... I need, I need to update these. Yeah. I, I need a new stitch. So um, I got I to gotta figure out where I want to go with that. I got to do some hunting. I got to decide what I want my look to be. You know? I'm kind of excited. You know, I saw a few things I... I thought looked pretty interesting, so I'm going to explore them, you know. But the but the journey for a new stitch is well, it's um it's definitely in the process thought wise. Oh, I must have got stunned. I hate getting stunned. Well, that's okay. Let's go ahead and get this fame corner. Very nice. And, um, yeah. Yep, yep. You guys know what's going on. La di di la di da. Yep. Pretty happy that was the, um, that, that hit me. Okay, what should we do? What should we do? Well, you know what? We should go ahead. Let's go ahead and kick Earthquake to the side. Let's put another faint on the guy. It'd be great to get a blade or two, but for some reason, my blades are being really stingy at the moment. Okay, are we there yet? Yep, finally got some blades. Okay. Well... Honestly... I can get one or two blades up, we can Colossus them and finish them both up. I think that's the plan. Tell you what, it feels like the pips added up a whole lot quicker than they usually do. And, you know, let's just go ahead and get Orthrus ready as well. Should we go ahead and go for Mystic? Yeah, let's go do a Mystic Colossus and see where that leaves us. Well, never mind. Actually, no. That, we have the stun shield on, so that should block both stuns. Ah. There is a breather there. Wow, that was a big hit, too. Okay, not a problem. 
Our turn to swing back, right guys? And... Yeah. Do we got it? Yes, we do. Ugh. Here, take my signet ring, but you'll never escape the white razors. Okay, well. Time to get back into the thick of it, right guys? Okay, let's talk to Zerozinia. With the signet ring, it should be easy to make our way down the beach. Head through the Umbra Barrier. We need to determine who controls the docks. They will know how you can sail the sea safely. We may as well confront the White Razors. They likely know how to find the Dock Master. Excellent. She always has some great ideas. Hey, oh, red couch potatoes. Dang it. I was getting excited there when I saw couch potatoes. Red couch potatoes, eh, not very useful to us. Yeah, red couch potatoes are a are an inferior type of couch potato. Okay. Oh. Oh, we need to fight the white racers anyways. Sorry, I didn't get a good look at them. I was running away from them. That's no problem at all. Okay. Let's go ahead and knock a few of these things away. There we go. Very good, very good. Okay. Now I might need to thin my deck out a little bit for these mob fights because I think if I can do one blade and Orthrus, I think I might be able to knock these guys out one round. Now wouldn't that make it a lot quicker? Yeah. On two rounds. That would be on um, two turns. Very nice. Let's give it a shot. Let's see if Orthrus will finish him off. You do it, big guy. I mean, definitely if we had the epic one, it would for sure, for sure win. But their health's not too terrible. Yeah, there we go. We got it. And we did not collect the information. Here, let's go ahead and adjust that deck so we can go ahead and just... Uh, Knock stuff out really quick here, okay? Oh man, if that doesn't bring up a really quick hit, I don't know what will. Okay, let's try it. How oh, funny. I guess I forgot. Oh yeah, I had that faint sitting in there. Okay. Very good. Let's put a reliquary on. Yeah, I don't know if I made it small enough for it to actually do what I need to do, so... Something to think about every time we hop to hop into a fight. I think he's about done there. Is it our turn yet? Yes, it is. Okay, Orthrus, can you finish the job? Perfect. Patrol the upper tiers of the beach. Go pester the driftwood branches. They know more about the docks. Okay, let's go pester the driftwood branches. Apparently, they know more about the dock. There we go. Some driftwood branches. Let's do these guys. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna definitely want to do two blades on these guys. These guys got quite the health. given it a shot, but you never know. I mean, when we were critically with one blade, it seemed like uh, it was pretty close to what these health, what these guys' health was. So, probably a good strategy for us to go ahead and double blade them, and then we'll just get on and get on to the fight, right? Our turn. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, one of the reasons why I'm collecting every bug I come across is I believe when you collect um, Animus from newer ones you haven't collected from, you get a little bit of boost in the XP for that. So, it's one of the reasons why I take the time to do it. Okay, let's go ahead and... Um, ooh, we want those. Did I get it? No, I didn't get it in time. I was going for the, um, the Comet the comets fragments there. Okay, let's go ahead and kick off what I don't need. Get that Myth Blade up. Let's finish these guys off. Okay, so now, uh -huh. there we go. Very, very nice. Okay, now I'm kind of excited to get across the sea because once we get across the sea, there is a guy that has some recipes for some wands, and I would love to have a really cool stitch wand for my character. Yeah, there's a myth one I like. I think it's pretty neat. I think it totally goes with um, with our wizard, you know, and and the style that we're going for. So I want to take advantage of that. But you know, it's um, it's gonna be a little bit before we get over there. We gotta get past Crescent Peach, you know, um, and we've got quite a ways before we get to Ruined Alcazar. Yeah, there's like, a lot of quests here in Crescent Peach. I give Spellbinder. You will find the Dark Master in her tent. Seek out Mazarin, the Stormwind. Excellent. Okay, Mazarin Stormwind, which will be over in her tent. Let's see here. You know what, guys? We have just enough time. Let's go ahead and go after this Mazarin. See what she has to say. Who are you? Are you on a mission from Fort Rakius? What is happening up there? I am Zarozinia, the Death Song. The Burrowers are trying to sow chaos in Fort Rakius. We are here on a mission for the Shadow Queen. She has ordered us to sail to the center of the Starfall Sea. Madness! Our vessels stay as far from the Maelstrom as possible. And even so, many are lost to violent storms and voracious predators. However, we've been raided by a band of Hopper Scouts. They obviously manage the perilous journey. Find them and question them. Hopper Scouts, guys. Who are these? Ah, I know who they are. But let's go ahead and let's meet the Hopper Scouts. We need to look for these hoppers. The desert hoppers mainly live across the sea in the Conda Desert. But perhaps these can help us. Search the beach for signs of these hoppers. I'll let you do the talking. Okay. Not a problem at all. Here, let's go ahead and grab that. Yeah, nice. Okay. You discover a trail made by some kind of fleet-footed burrower. Perhaps the Hopper Scouts? Look, there's one. After him! Follow him! He dashed into that cave! Ah, into the cave, right? What do you guys think? Should we do one last run? 
Yeah, let's do one last run before we end this episode. Poor Zero Xenia, she's bored waiting for the countdown. Kamate, kamate, kaora, kaora! Die, spawn of shadow! Okay. Let's see if we can convince Stieg of, oh no, bad things. Because I just realized my deck is not set for this. Yeah. At least I got my reshuffle, right? Oh. Not so good. Is that, that's a storm, that's a water elemental, it's life. Interesting. Well, the good news is I do have one Fane, two Blades. Okay, so we gotta take advantage of everything so, may, so we can maybe win. Wow, they are not letting up. Yeah, I think we can handle it though. This is why I usually just leave my deck the same and just go everywhere with the same cards in the deck and deal with and discard. Because I'll run into a I'll run into a boss fight like this and I'll go, oh, I forgot. My deck's not ready for a boss fight. Yeah. Okay. Um well. Let's go ahead and put a faint on Stig. If we can get a um, Shadow Pip, that'll actually help us out. Not that we'll need the Pierce, but the extra 10% damage would be a good help. My goodness, it's this goat spell again. That's not gonna do that's not gonna feel good. Okay, could have been worse, I'll take that. Excellent. Okay. Now, what do we got? Uh we gotta do everything we can. So let's do reliquary. I guess we're gonna cast um Shrike. Yeah. We're gonna cast Shrike. You just took away my pips, that turkey. Balance, balance, balance opponents. Okay. Well, since we gotta go with everything in our thing, let's go ahead and cast a shadow shrike. That's gonna give us a little bit of a boost. Our turn now. Ooh. Yeah, we gotta survive this, so let's go ahead and um, first we'll do Orthrus. Now I wonder if you cast a... Uh, I've never tried to do that, trans a transmorph while you are a while you are in a shadow spell? I've never tried doing that. Huh, wonder if I'll get a chance to do that. Nope, it looks like I won't have to. Woo! That was close. Very nice. Go Mate Whirly Gig. Mate Great Beast. Nice. Ah, not spawny shade eye. You speak Burrower? Kaya. Yep, we speak Burrow. And look, these are one of the other things that we're supposed to be collecting, but... Oh, I guess I did get the quest. Excellent. I didn't think I got the quest. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm happy I got the quest. I, I hate having come back for stuff like that. Okay, guys. So we found ourselves a new mouse. Okay. Here, let's get a picture of him. There we go. Okay, guys, but with that, we're going to go ahead and call it an episode. I hope you guys have a great day. This is Kimmy Say. Thanks for watching the Myth Walkthrough. We'll be back again for tomorrow for our month of everyday chrysalis here in the month of October. I hope you guys have a great day. Catch you later, guys. Bye-bye.